What's good guys, it's Ulam here and today I want to share with you guys a low budget Facebook ad strategy that can easily get you more than 5 sales a day. I've been using this exact strategy to scan my dropshipping store and today I made around $300 from this so it works extremely well. All you have to do is be systematic about it and if you're a dropshipping beginner or new to Facebook ads, please watch this video till the end. I promise you it will help you wrap your head around this whole Facebook ads thing and you will feel comfortable running your first campaigns. So grab a coffee or something and let's begin. So today we will be covering a low budget and very easy Facebook ads strategy that will hopefully get you to your first sales. There are a few things that you should know before starting Facebook ads and dropshipping in general. First is have at least $1000 to spend on ads. I know others have said that you only need about $300 or $500 on ads, but that is if you already have a winning product. The reality of Facebook ads and dropshipping is that you will lose a lot of money before you start making it back. So you need to have a good chunk of cash before you start running ads. So it helps if you have a stable income like a job or other online ventures before you start running Facebook ads or for that matter any paid ads. Paid ads in general require a lot of testing before you make back the initial investment. So make sure you have stable cash coming in. Don't be one of those guys who has his last 500 or 200 dollars and is desperate to make it back with Facebook ads. I don't want to be the guy who tells you that you won't succeed, but the chances of you making it with just 200 dollars are slim to none. So just save up more and build some other income streams before you attempt this. Next, when you make your first campaigns and your first ads, don't touch the campaigns when they are running at first. Let them run for at least 3 days before you look at the results. Don't change the ads every hour, don't change the settings, don't touch them, just, just leave them be. Because if you change the settings you are tampering with the learning algorithm, you are giving it a hard time and you will mess up your results big time, so just let your ads run. Next thing you will have to do is detach emotionally from your dropshipping store if you are running one. Because if you are spending ads on a losing product, you will just continue losing cash and you won't make it back. So don't be afraid to start a new store and find a new product. The next thing is something no one really talks about is work on customer service. Have fast shipping so you get good feedback scores from your customers. Because if you didn't know this, Facebook asks your customers if they received good customer service, if they received their products and how long the shipping was and uh, basically if your customers say that they didn't receive the product or receive terrible customer support, you will have a bad feedback score and when that does happen, Facebook bans your ad accounts. So basically to have a good feedback score, you have to answer to customer inquiries really fast. Make sure you have reliable supplier, don't use AliExpress, use something like CJ Dropshipping. They have much faster delivery times and are much more consistent with their orders. Your customers will receive their packages much more faster than from AliExpress. Also, products are much more cheaper on CJ Dropshipping and other sites like that. So make sure you use them. Also, be sure to check your customer support email daily. Because recently I started a new store and I didn't actually check customer support because I didn't think anyone would actually reach out to me. And there was one guy who was constantly bombarding me with emails asking where his order was and of course I didn't answer to that and then he left a negative review in his feedback survey. So that's not good, you don't want to do that. Check your email daily in case a customer needs something for you and be sure to be as helpful as you can to your customers so they leave good feedback scores for you. The last thing is uh, add tracking numbers to your orders so your customers can see where their orders are at uh, so they will be less inclined to reach out to you and ask. That is a no-brainer. Okay guys, with that out of the way, it's time to actually show you how the campaign structure looks like and how the campaigns in Facebook work. So if this is the first time that you are running Facebook ads or you are following a Facebook ad system, what you will want to start with is actually creating the campaign. And we are gonna set the objective of the campaign to be purchases as you see here. This octagon right here represents the main campaign. So under your campaigns you will have your ad sets. We will start by creating one ad set that will be optimized for purchase event. If you don't have your Facebook Pixel installed yet, I will leave a tutorial in the description. Make sure you do that before you start these campaigns. 
So for your first ad set, what you want to do is set location as worldwide targeting because you don't know yet where most of your purchases might come from. Maybe it's Europe, maybe it's Canada like for me, maybe it's the United States or New Zealand, you just don't know yet. So it's best to put worldwide location at first. Next, for the interest, what we're going to do is set one single broad interest. Like for example, for me, if I'm selling dog collars, I will want to target dog training as the first interest. For placements, only choose Facebook news feed. Disable the rest of the placements. In my experience, they just spend the money uselessly. And of course, set your daily budget at least $10 a day, which is absolute minimum if we are going to run five ad sets in this campaign. Optimum would be $15 a day and best case scenario for a low budget campaign would be $20 a day, but $10 a day is absolute minimum because, because it's highly unlikely that your cost per purchase will be lower than 10 bucks a day. So if you want to get the sale a day per ad set, you need to set your daily budget to at least $10 a day. When that's done, you will want to set your ad creatives. And for this, I highly recommend you guys to go with the one of the professional companies that make video ads like viral ecom ads or bands of ads. I made a video about these two companies last week. So if you haven't used any of these companies yet, be sure to watch that video and see what they're all about. What they basically do is they create video ads for you and they are industry professionals. They make highly converting video ads that really work at Facebook. So it's one less thing you have to worry about. If you make the ads yourselves, well, it's really hard to make sales that way if you don't have experience in marketing. And chances are, if you are a newbie, you won't have any experience making converting video ads. So just pay $60 and let professionals make a split test package for you where you will receive three videos that are more likely to convert than your own ads. I always use these services. I never make my own ads because why bother if professionals can make it so cheaply for you. So when you have added all three ad creatives to your ad set, what you will want to do next is duplicate the ad set four times. So you have, so you have five ad sets in total. So what you're going to do next is change the interest in all these new ad sets we just duplicated. For example, you can see here the original asset was dog training interest. The next interest will be Malinois, which is a dog breed. Then we're targeting dogs, dog owners. Um, basically, these are really broad interests that we can target on Facebook. Uh, video ads are all the same for these ad sets. And what we're essentially doing here is testing which of these interests will work best with our store. And also we are testing which one of these three video ads that we receive from these professionals will convert and bring us sales. And what you want to do when that's done is publish your campaign and let the ads run for three days minimum. Basically, the lower your budget, the longer you want the ads to run before making any decisions. So if we're doing $50 a day campaign budget, we want to let the ads run for at least three days before we get any meaningful information and we can do our next steps. So after you let your ads run for three days, it's time to make the decisions. So this is something you might see in your campaign after three days. One ad set has made one sale, another ad set has made one sale, there are a few ad sets that has made zero sales, and there are some ad sets that have add to cart, initiated checkout, and so on. So what you will want to do next essentially is duplicate the winning ad sets and increase the budget and disable the ad sets that are just meaninglessly spending money. So in this case, as you can see here, the asset that has made one sale, what you will want to do is duplicate the asset into the same campaign and raise the budget from $10 to $15 a day and let the asset run. For the asset that has made zero sales, you will want to stop it. And for the asset that has asked to cart or initiated checkouts, you will want to let them run for a few more days because for the iOS 14 update, the tracking is not accurate. So you won't actually see if this asset has made sales or not. So you will want to leave it running for a few more days and see what it does. If it doesn't make sales for three more days, just kill it like the rest of the assets. If it does, duplicate and increase the budget a little bit. So this basically is the ad scaling process that will work the same in any ad campaign with any budget. You will want to duplicate and increase budget on assets that have made sales and essentially stop assets that has not made sales. But what to do if you're not getting any sales? Well, essentially there is something wrong either with your store or your ad copies or your target. So if you're not getting a single ad to cart in your website, your store design might need more work 
or your price is too high. So what you will want to do in this case is look at your competitor sites if you can find any and model your store after theirs. Make your store look as professional as possible, don't use the default AliExpress pictures just see what your competitors are doing and emulate their success. If you see an element you like on their website, copy it over to your website with your own twist. So basically what I'm saying is that you need to make your store nicer. Another reason is that your product might not be interesting enough for people to actually buy. So you might want to move to another product in this case. And the third, if you are not receiving any clicks to your website and if your ad campaign is just spending money, possibly your ad copy is at fault. As I said before, let professionals make your ads, you will be getting clicks this way. If you're making your own ads, there's a high chance that they will not convert. And remember this, you won't be profitable until you optimize your ads. And that might take up to two weeks with this small budget, like $50 a day. Uh, the bigger the budget, the faster you get data and, and the faster you can optimize your ads for them to actually be profitable. So from my experience, you will spend at least two weeks with $50 a day budget until you can get profitable. So keep that in mind. That's why I said in the first slide that you need a big budget for this. So save some cash before running Facebook ads. Okay guys, that about wraps up this video. This was a different format. If you like this more educational format, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. I am not gonna ever sell a course here, just free information like this for you all to enjoy and learn from. So please leave a comment, subscribe and like the video. Cheers.